Hi, my name's Fred, and this is the best white chocolate moonshine from Scratch Recipe. And you're going to get a twofer for the holidays. We're also going to show you how to make white chocolate peppermint moonshine. My dumbass left the camera at home, so I'll be using my cell phone. Hopefully this comes out swimmingly. Thanks for watching. Okay, before I get started, I just wanted to say this is probably the easiest moonshine that there is to make because although I use heat to make it with my handy dandy pot, which we have back here, uh, all you need for this is a microwave because you just need to melt the morsels. Unlike the, uh, the three other recipes I made with moonshine, you're actually dissolving the sugar, so you need the heat to dissolve all the sugar we put, we put in it. For this recipe, you could use a microwave and just melt the... Uh, the white chocolate that we're using or any white chocolate you have and just make sure you keep an eye on the microwave. You only do it for 30 second intervals and continue to stir. But today we'll be using our pot to melt the, uh, the white chocolate to make the delicious moonshine. So let's get started. Okay, we've got our handy dandy pot. Now this isn't a huge pot like I used last time because I'm not making a, a super huge batch, but we are gonna use one half gallon of regular milk, one half gallon of regular milk, pour it right in the pot because I'm going to be melting my white chocolate in the pot using just a little bit of heat. There we go. And just to let you know, this is step one. We are going to be using, I'm using the Toll House Premium White Morsels. Each one of these bags is 14, I'm sorry, 12 ounces. So we're using 24 ounces of the Toll House White Chocolate Chips or I should say morsels. Perfect. Get this other bag open. I am so not prepared. No camera. Perfect. Now I'm gonna bring this over to uh, medium heat and I'm just gonna make sure that the milk simmers and I'm gonna continually stir it until the, all the white chocolate melts and it thickens up, but I do not want it to come to a boil. Then I'm gonna bring it right back here and we'll do part two in the second step. All right, I did put a placemat down because I did have this, you know, on a burner, so I don't wanna burn, you don't wanna burn your counter or make any stains or anything, so we've, uh, melted all the white chocolate and the milk in our mixture. It's a, it's a nice, uh, nice, I'm not gonna say thin or thick, it's an in-between consistency, but all the chocolate is melted, and as you can see, no chocolate ends up on the spoon because uh, we have a nice, thin yet thicker consistency. We're gonna let that cool for about five minutes, and then I'll be right back. Okay, we waited a few minutes, and now it's time for part two of the white chocolate moonshine recipe. So now, on top of the, uh, the milk and the um, white chocolate chips that we melted, we're gonna add one quart or eight cups of heavy cream. And if you don't like heavy cream, you could use regular or light cream as well, but I prefer the heavy cream. Just pour that right in there. There we go. Perfect. And then on top of that, we're gonna add four 14 ounce containers of our condensed milk. I've already opened these containers, so I'm gonna just plop it right in there. And this is a, another super thick item. There's one. Thank God I brought a spoon to hurry this along. Sorry, my arm's in the way. I'm gonna switch sides in one second. All right, so that's one can. Let me get the other can. There we go, much better. So again, we're using four 14 ounce cans of the condensed milk. Two cans. This is the third can. I know what you're saying now. Oh my God, that's gonna be way too sweet. Trust me. This is gonna be, wait for it, delicious. And, 
our fourth can. Man, I am like Speedy Gonzalez tonight. There you go, our fourth can. Get my handy dandy towel to just clean up our mess. There we go. And on top of that, we are gonna put two ounces of our vanilla extract. And again, I'm reaching across the screen. Two ounces of the vanilla extract. And then we are gonna give that a good stir to incorporate everything. And now we're mixing the condensed milk, the milk, the melted chocolate chips or white chocolate, as well as the heavy cream. Oh. Oh. It's a little condensed milk in the corner there. Actually, corner. You can't have a corner in a round pot. I should say on the side. And of course, I didn't go to the back to get a bigger spoon, so I'm just using a little spoon for this. Proper tools, Fred, proper tools. Oh, a little splash. Clean that up, clean me up. All right, now it's time for part three, the good stuff. So what we're gonna need now is your Everclear. I use the 151 proof Everclear. I don't like using the 190 proof because it makes it way too strong when, I, uh, when I'm serving it. So we're gonna use one full bottle, 750 milliliter bottle. So this is a little over three cups of the 151 Everclear. Perfect. And on top of that, we are adding one cup of our Smirnoff vanilla. Um, I like using the Smirnoff vanilla vodka because it is gluten free. Uh, a lot of these flavored vodkas are not but the Smirnoff vanilla is gluten-free, and we're gonna use one cup of this. And a little dab for good luck. And one cup. Perfect. Now we're gonna mix this around. Oh, I cannot wait to give this a little try. Now what you wanna do is because this does have a, a milk base, this does have to be refrigerated as soon as you're done with this and it has to stay in the refrigerator. This is not shelf stable. And as I'm stirring, you can check out the link above for all of our other moonshine videos. We have apple pie moonshine, pumpkin pie moonshine, and peach moonshine. All right, so everything looks super, super delicious. And now all we need to do is just can this up. Okay, we just finished cleaning our bar. I got my containers. So remember, it is the holidays, and what I forgot to tell you, because this was a two-for video, is that if you decide to make white chocolate peppermint moonshine, instead of using the two ounces of your uh, vanilla extract, you're gonna use two ounces of peppermint extract. And then instead of using the one cup of your vodka, you're gonna use one cup of peppermint schnapps. And that's how you get your white peppermint moonshine. And let me tell you, it's delicious. Now with this moonshine, the white chocolate moonshine, if you want to give it a little peppermint twist, when you serve it, you can add a candy cane to it if the guest or someone wants a little minty flavor. And when they stir it, the you know it, it tastes a little more minty. So it is delicious. But remember, it's the holiday season, so I have a bunch of different size uh, containers here. And this batch will make about uh, a gallon and a half of product, so uh, I'm gonna fill up one of these right now. I'll fill up the small one just to show you what it looks like. And I'm gonna leave it for minimum. I mean, you can drink it now, but minimum you leave it for overnight or 12 hours so it can really settle and get the flavors infused in it. Sorry, I grabbed the literally the smallest ladle I have in the restaurant. There you have your white 
chocolate moonshine. And it is delicious. Hey, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Again, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe on the link below, and share on all your social media platforms. At the end of this video, which is right now, please look for all of our other bar and restaurant related videos. Thanks for watching.